Hey everyone, welcome to my channel for my very first official review. I had Beta FPV reach out to me and asked if I wanted to test the Express LRS system and do a review on it. And I'm like, sure, why not? Never done one before, so let's give it a go. All right, so I installed the Express LRS system into my uh, quads and did the updating of the OpenTX and ran through the Express LRS configurator and stuff. Um, it's definitely a learning curve, but after you do it for a quick second, it's actually fairly easy. But we'll get on to that here in, in a few. So here is the module that they sent me. Uh, it does come with a regular uh, dipole antenna also, but it also comes with this antenna right here. Uh, this is the 2.4 um, 1 watt, sorry for the lighting uh, module. Uh, it snaps right into the JR bay uh, very nicely. Just like that. It actually looks pretty good on there. Um, I do know you can use it on the on other controllers that have a JR Bay. This is the, the Micro TX. So it does fit on there pretty nice. The build quality is really nice too. Here, me, you know, just looking at it, actually, um, everything snaps in real nice into the JR Bay. Uh, the antenna fits on there really, really tight. Uh, the old the OLED screen with the the five way switch works really good. Um, right now, I think the, the next firmware they will enable the the five position switch. So I'm sure a bunch of people already know what LRS is, the Express LRS. Um, basically, it's an open source long range. Uh, RC link system for people. The the pricing is from what I've seen is lower than the Crossfire and Ghost system. So it definitely opens the door for uh, people to get into like the longer range or um, the 2.4 system at a lower price. Um, I've only tested the beta FPV uh, products, so I'm not, I cannot say about the other companies. And so far, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So uh, they sent me the Nano, the LRS Nano receiver, and also the, the light receiver, which was the tower. I haven't installed that one yet, but I did install the flat one. I put it on the five inch quad and yesterday I flew the nano and this one and I already knew that the ceramic antenna wasn't gonna get as good of a penetration as the nano would. So I already knew that, but for because I don't have any micros to test it on, so I just put it on a 5-inch. I was actually quite impressed with just the little ceramic antenna, the distance. I kept it at 500 milli, uh, was it milliwatts, Mega, megahertz, 500 megahertz for the testing. And I was quite impressed with it. Uh, looks nice. You know, it's kind of cool seeing your quadcopter with no antennas sticking out of it because everything's inside. Um, yeah, so you can see the price right here is $12 for the Nano Light, Or not the Nano Light, but the LRS receiver light is like $12. Then the Nano receiver, the 2.4 gig is on looks like it's on sale right now for sixteen dollars and fourteen cents so it's definitely a really good bargain for what you 
uh, for what you're getting. But uh, let's see. So am I going to sw switch solely to this system? Um, probably not solely right away because I do have other uh, quads on Tracer and Crossfire. And well, I can I can definitely see myself fully going into this route of uh, the system. Uh, let's see, right here is the the transmitter. And I do like the option that it's open source. Here's the one watt right here. And it's actually a you know pretty good price and stuff. And coming from the Crossfire uh, system, and so it's kind of like that, but I really do like how you bind the receiver to the TX. I did everything over the Wi Fi, which it was definitely different for me versus, you know, going through the Crossfire, the Asian X. So it was definitely a learning curve, definitely a learning curve. So here is the Express LRS configurator. As you can see, it's you know pretty laid out. You know, so what you do is you go through, you pick the release. I have it on the 2.0.1. <clears throat> and you come through and you pick um, beta FPV 2.4 gigahertz or if you're doing the 900 megahertz, you pick this one, and they have several other ones in here. Happy Motto, uh, looks like you can flash LRS to Ghost, and so on and so forth. But I have the 2.4, which is a micro, and it's really cool because I just did everything over Wi-Fi, and I have it set up on my... As soon as I turn it on, the Wi-Fi shows up. So that, like, you do not have to put a cord into it, into the PC, and so on and so forth. And you just go through there and, you know, do your updates. Uh, this binding phrase is kind of cool. It's, it's not a top secret phrase, but you just make sure no one else is you, you Create a unique phrase for yourself. So that way no one else is using that. So I thought that was really nice. Then, yeah, it was pretty straightforward on the configurator. So I, so, you know, it was definitely a learning curve. It was a learning curve learning the Asian X with the crossfire. So I knew there was going to be a learning curve here. Talked to a couple buddies of mine that are running it, and... You know, they helped me out, and they said, once you do it, it's super easy to do. And they were absolutely correct about that. The range that I've noticed, I'm a more freestyle. I do get into, like, a little bit of mid-range, um, not so much long range. But for freestyle, it was definitely handling what I needed to do through uh, penetration through trees, behind buildings. Um, need to take it through abandoned buildings where I normally fly just to get more testing. But right now it is reliable and I'm trusting it for a link system. So, yeah, you know, as, as always, there's going to be more updates coming out. Uh, it's open source, so I'm sure like updates are going to be coming out on a regular basis or semi-regular basis, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, looks like it's just going to keep getting better and better and better, and for being open source, any company that wants to jump into it can go right ahead and do it. So that's my review on it, and I'll probably do a little bit more reviewing on it down further down with more lipos through, 
different scenarios and so on and so forth so I can just do an updated review on my thoughts and opinion on it with more updates so keep a lookout for it and keep a lookout for the flight video of it appreciate everyone checking out the review and if you want to get the system go to beta fpv or go to get fpv or pyro or whatever your favorite store is and put it in that cart and click buy and i'll see you guys on the next one